to Millennial Santa. We are broadcasting direct from KELF, the North Pole's radio station. I'm glad you joined us today. I'm Sunny the Elf, and here's Santa. Hi, Sunny. Just stopped in to get those weather reports. Yes, I've been working on those for you. So, Santa, I've got good news and bad news. (laughs) The good news is that it looks beautiful outside. As you can see, it's snowing. Not so bad right now, but it is going to continue. It doesn't look like this snow that we're experiencing right now is really going to let up. I'm not sure how that impacts Christmas Eve for you yet, but a lot more snow in store, at least for us here at the North Pole. That ties into our question today. It comes from Ronan, and Ronan has a weather-related question. He says, it's already snowing a lot where I live. What do you do, Santa, on Christmas Eve if the weather is really bad? Well, Ronan, I I really hope it's not that bad, but... Things have changed over the years here at the North Pole. We really, really try to deliver in all weather conditions. So the elves are trained and reindeer are especially trained to be able to find their way in the cold and the snow. And especially now with radar and GPS mapping and also the fact that we can fly by instrument flight rules really makes it nice. So even if it's really snowing out there and blizzardy, we can make it through. And of course, we have NORAD. That's the North American Aerospace Defense Command. And they track us all through Christmas Eve. They let us know if we're going to head into a bad storm. And speaking of bad storms, I think about it every so often, especially when I get those bad weather reports. In 1888, New York City had its worst snowstorm. And we did not think we were going to be able to deliver presents that year. Well, we took off and we started delivering around the world. And when we got down there toward New York, of course, we had Rudolph and his red nose. And that really, really helps because it guides us at night. And uh, back in 1888, we were running with with a map and uh, Elvis had a compass And it was rough up there, I'm telling you. Reindeer each have their own set of bells on them. You've heard our bells from me. Sometimes I bring them in. But each reindeer has its own bell. So a lot of times when we're out there at night, I cannot, all I can see is Rudolph's nose. And we're trying to steer. And as we're steering, I can hear the different reindeer jingle a little bit different. So I know whether to he or to yaw, that's right or left, moving the reindeer. And uh, that's what happened. That great blizzard of New York in 1888, we were able to get through there. We were able to deliver all the presents. But boy, I tell you, that was a rough year. I don't want to ever go through that again. Boy, the reindeer really deserved their oats after that. Well, thank you very much, Ronan, for the question. Don't worry. The way we're set up now, we'll be able to deliver presents on Christmas Eve. Thank you, Ronan. If you have a question for Santa or you just want to say hi to us, you know what to do. You can call or text us here at our radio station, and we'll try to use those comments on our show. The number to call is 856-99-SANTA. That's 856-997-2682. Kids, as always, be sure to get your parents' permission before you call or text. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, Santa. Bye now, and please remember to keep the spirit of Christmas in your hearts throughout the year. Ho, ho, ho. Millennial Santa is a proud member of Parents on Demand, a network of high-quality podcasts for families just like yours. Download our free network app on Apple and Android and listen to your favorite episodes on the go, just like Santa. Santa.